Well, 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 it looks like it's that time of the week again, so I hope you're all ready for some Let's Play goodness. Today we're playing some Dance with the Devil, and I fucking love this mission. Mate, I left my briefcase in the staff room, can you get it for me? But I don't wanna! Just fucking do it, cunt! Oh, okay. Now we're just gonna follow him into the secluded staff room and take care of him. Well, what do you know? There wasn't a briefcase here after- Hey! No! <laughs> So now we have an interim disguise to grant us access to this fucking exclusive parking garage. But before we enter, we're going to have to get the security camera footage from this guard booth. But remember, if they see you touch it, they'll go fucking crazy. Hello fellow officers, I'm just having a quick look at the security tape. Hey, fuck that! Die, you son of a bitch! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, try not to let them spot you. So now that we've taken care of that, we'll make our way through the garage toward these trucks and... Why, hello there, vomit bag. Get away. I'm sick. I'm sick. Well then, be healed. Oh wow, I suddenly feel much better. Guards! Guards! Oh, guards! That guy lightly nudged me. He did what? You sick son of a bitch. You die for your crimes. You were- <coughs> What the fuck? I was only trying to help the ungrateful cunt. Well, not fucking this time. So as I was saying, we'll make our way past the trucks. Ugh, get away. I'm sick. Yeah? Fuck off. Run behind them toward yet another truck, and when no one is looking, take these clothes to dress up as a guest to the heaven party. Now, if you're like me and love bringing some weapons along with you, you won't be able to get past these guards with them. But there is a side door that you can take to get to the elevator without losing your weapons. You just have to outsmart this security guard. There is no way that I'm taking my eyes off of this door. My lord, a coin. Fuck the door. And now we'll just pick the lock to the door, climb up the ladder, and enter the lift from above. Fucking no weapons, my ass. So here we are, the heaven party, and our first order of business is to kill this tossbag CIA agent. Now he makes regular trips to the bathroom. So, can you guess where the best place to kill him is? That's right, the elevator! I heard the two guys were found dead in elevators last week. Good thing that'll never happen to- <laughs> Or you could just take him out while he's taking a piss. Why is my dick so smart? <laughs> <laughs> or... Yeah! Huh? Hey man, not cool. You shouldn't throw explosives at people while they're tame. <laughs> now if you do choose to murder the cunt in the toilet, be sure to close the door before you do it. If you don't, you may find yourself in a little bit of trouble. Come on door, fucking close. Ah, oh, the bastard's foot must be in the way. Come on, get in here, come on. Oh my god, what's going on here? Guards! Fuck! Oh, and now the door closes. So now that we've eliminated the agent, we'll take his clothes and press on. There's a laptop that we'll now check to get information on two contract killers out to kill us. They will also become targets. So having checked the laptop, we can see that the shit singer at this party is actually an assassin. Let's show her what happens when she fucking messes with Agent 47. I am a really bad singer, but 47 will never see me kill- That bitch! Yeah, no. But we can actually kill her from the exact same room that we checked the laptop in. Option one is to let her spot you. Okay, bitch, let's see what wins. Your stiletto versus my meat cleaver! Meat cleaver wins. Prepare to die, 47! Ah! Eh. Huh. Well, obviously, the deagle approach is about as discreet as... ...using a fucking deagle. Hmm, I'm beginning to suspect that you were the one that killed this guy. <laughs> That's cause I fucking was. Option two is definitely the safer and quieter option, and it simply involves sneaking up on her while her back's turned and... <laughs> ...break her fucking neck. Well, business has been taken care of here at the Heaven Party, so let's head back down the elevator to the garage, and then proceed to the other elevator to the basement of HELL. Shush. But seriously, here we have two more targets to kill. This Romanian circus freak and yet another useless gun for hire out to kill you. Let's take care of the circus freak first. The first way to kill her, usually resulting in a cheap instant death for beginners, was to meet her as the agent and follow her into the room. Show me your handsome face, darling. No. It has been fun with the mask, but I want to see your face. I said no. You are taking the mask off now. I can't, the fucking game doesn't give me a button to do it. I'll have it ripped off your face. Guards! Huh, what are the guards gonna do? What the fuck? I'm dead? You've got to be kidding me. All because I wouldn't take off the fucking mask? Why, you miserable bitch. Take this, you sword-slinging cunt. Show me your handsome face, darling. How about my submachine gun, you crazy whore? 
So the obvious way to avoid this is to fucking kill her silently before she turns around. Oh, uh, shit. Let's try again. You had better be taking off your mask, dog. <laughs> Say, would you like me to show you how this gun works? Why, yes, I certainly would. Oh, no, 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 no. Like that. But let's face it, we don't want to go anywhere with this crazy lady, so let's just kill her the best way we can without getting directly involved. Ivana, that's her name, performs this retarded fire demonstration every few minutes. Let's kill her then. Now, I'm not saying to walk up behind her in mid-performance and fucking blow her brains out, albeit that would probably work. No, let's rig the pyrotechnics instead and find a good view for the show. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the master of fire, lord of the flame, and god of the bl- Ha! But wait, that's not even the best part. Wait for it. Oh! So I guess dancing on a balcony above your very own shark tank complete with fucking massive shark wasn't such a clever idea after all. Alternatively, if you are patient, there is a way where you can kill both targets at the exact same time. And that is, pick the door in the garage and head down the stairs to the basement and grab yourself a basement guard's outfit. <laughs> then wait for the agent and the crazy bitch to rendezvous in the room, throw a mine through the window- Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pump them with lead. But for some strange reason, although you used a silenced pistol, guards may go to the place you shot them from. Which could be problematic. What's going on here? Oh hey, some thoughtless idiot left a live mine in here. What are you gonna do with it? Just carry it around with me. After all, what are the chances that someone will hit the detonator and blow me sky fucking- <laughs> Pretty high, obviously. I'm digressing, I know. Anyway, so we fed Ivana to her pet shark and now it's time to kill our last target the obviously an assassin bartender. Now we can of course place a mine behind the bar when no one's looking, push the button and blow that motherfucker sky fucking high! Yeah! But that wouldn't be too discreet now, would it? But then again, neither is the other way that this game forces you to do it. Ah, Mr. 47. The fates conspire to throw us together at last. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Don't be coy with me, 47. I know all about you. You're just the ungainly outcome of a childish experiment with genetic tinker toys. Super assassin, indeed. You're less than human, and I intend to prove it. How do you intend to do that? We're going to duel. Meet me in the room marked Torture Chamber. Nah, I'm just cool with fucking killing you now. Take this, you rude son of a bitch. That'll teach you not to hurt my feelings. No, we're actually gonna follow the man into the torture chamber. Lesbians! Once inside, we'll fucking duel the guy until we blow his fucking head off. I think I may be winning. D now let's just grab the room key from the sunburnt Cox corpse and make our way out of the room. And now we'll head back through the party, back up the elevator, back through the garage, to the reception, and regain our suit. And now we'll head back through the garage, ignoring any fuckhead guard trying to kick us out, hop into this van, and get the fuck out of here. And that concludes the 10th episode of this series. I hope you all had fun, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button below. And for more videos like this one, as well as video game reviews, gameplay commentaries, and other game-related media, swing over to my channel. And hey, you could always subscribe.